This is the power unit. Um, we're showing, I think, if I go in there and show you, I don't know if you can make that out. I've not got my glasses on, but I think that's saying something like about um, 389, uh, 389 engine hours um, since new. Uh, the, the engine runs sweet as a nut. We don't burn any oil. Uh, it's a good little power unit, very reliable. Um, we did have a problem a year or so back, and I'll point it out to some of you that ever have this trouble. I had a bit of a novice guy come on. He was actually a professional mechanic who tuned the engine up. This here is holding a particular lead, which is purple and white and has a little hauser on it. This is just to hold it in place. Um, this has to be earthed out if doing static timing on this particular engine. If you do not put a lead on here and earth it to ground, uh, the Denso unit, which is to be found here on the side of the uh, riser there on the port side, um, that won't. That will basically try and automatically retune the engine as you try to change it statically. So quite important that that lead. And I, I can tell you from experience, I had a, almost a lost season on the boat where the boat's timing was out. This has to be earthed. Um, sad to say, I had to tell them a cruiser mechanic to earth it out. Uh, care of the actual manual which I ended up buying but all too few of the Macruza people understand that this on the 220 unit has to be earthed out there's a little lead there the cap comes out the top and you put a little lead with a plunger in there and earth it to obviously one of the grounded points on the engine and then the Denso gets taken out of the loop during the timing cycle uh, while you're sort of setting static timing I had a guy, a pal of mine from Portugal, came over and did that, and the engine has run absolutely sweetly since. So quite important if you've got one of these units.